All right, folks, welcome to Premium Fuel Mag, uh, and you're joining us today on a Premium Fuel Mag exclusive. Today, we're going to be reviewing a couple of FIA certified race quip seats. These seats are brand new for 2020, and I'm actually probably one of the first people on YouTube to have them and review them. But before we get into that, I want to give a couple of shout outs. Um, the first thing, I want to give a shout out to Race Quip. I'm not sponsored by Race Quip, but I really appreciate a company that puts out high quality racing products at a very affordable price. Um, my first Race Quip product that I bought was this helmet. Um, I was actually saving up to buy a basic Simpson helmet, and um, I actually ended up seeing this because Brie Lynch had one of these on Hoonigan and she gave a shout out and when I went to check it out this very very nice carbon fiber racing helmet was actually the same price as a basic Simpson helmet so I just went ahead and got it and I've been rocking with race quip ever since. Secondly, these are not actually the seats that I wanted to buy. Um, I ended up with these because the seats that I originally bought uh, essentially got lost in the mail. So my second shout out goes to Solo Performance um, they really helped me out and they were able to basically identify a comparable pair of seats to what I ordered. Uh, these are actually better than the seats that I ordered and they were able to provide me with replacements. Um, I ordered seats back in November, uh, USPS lost the seats and after a lot of back and forth, um, it was all help. They did, they did nothing but help, but uh, Solo actually dispatched these seats and they got to me in three days. So if you order these seats from Solo Performance, they're going to get to you in like three days and you're going to have a nice, very affordable set of Halo seats. So let's go ahead and jump into it and talk about these seats. So what we have here is the brand new 2021 race quip containment halo seats and uh, for those of you all who don't know the difference between a halo seat and a regular seat is a regular seat does not have these head restraints here uh, this does and, and what these head restraints do is actually uh, they help basically keep you from breaking your neck and any kind of a sideways impact um, because your helmet will basically just bounce off of these side pads instead of uh, putting that force into your neck. So these are really good to have. So even though these head bolsters increase the safety inside your vehicle, they're absolutely gonna destroy your uh, peripherals and side to side visibility. So uh, because of that reason, they're highly not recommended to be used in a street car. As a matter of fact, it's probably illegal. And uh, yeah, you don't wanna use these in a street car. These are pretty much race car stuff only. Also, what's significant about these seats is they are FIA certified. So if you're going to be doing any kind of sanctioned racing and any kind of leagues or anything like that, pro-am, whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to need an FIA seat. And these seats do come certified by the FIA. This is the 15-inch model. These are fairly comfortable seats. I'm not going to say that they're the most comfortable seat that I've ever sat in. Um, I have a 32-inch waist and these are fairly snug. They're not the most snug seat that I've ever sat in, but they're pretty tight, and uh, I personally wouldn't want a seat to be any tighter. Some people might like them to be even tighter. Me personally, I think uh, this is cool exactly the way it is. Now, my problem with these seats, um, if I have to complain, is that in the shoulder area, they're just a little bit narrow. So, uh, my shoulders are a little bit more wide than average for a person of my uh, body weight. I wear a size 42 jacket and um, I don't know it's, it's a little bit snug in the uh, in the shoulder area if you're not sitting just right now when you do sit down in these seats and you get them leaned back at the correct angle and everything you can get comfortable in them so um, it's not a deal breaker originally when I sat in these seats they were sitting straight up and down vertical like you see here on a flat surface and I sat in them and uh, I thought I was gonna have to get rid of them because they were super uncomfortable if you just lean these things back just a little bit, sit down in the seat just a little bit, um, they should actually work out fine. As far as the material that these seats are made out of, um, you've got this nice, uh, this is probably fake leather material that you got here on the sides. And uh, this is actually the part that takes the most wear and tear because when you're constantly sliding in and out of the car, 
this always gets beat up so it's good to have something more durable here this fake leather is going to be more durable than any kind of fabric material that you're going to see so it's nice that they put this material here the other material that you see on here is this mesh this breathable mesh i really like this stuff because all the racing seats that i've had in the past are made out of this kind of microfiber stuff and the problem with this stuff is it just collects all the dust and you can't get it off like you can wipe this thing all you want um, you can hit it with a lint roller that helps a little bit but like the dust sticks to this stuff permanently and you just you cannot clean it um, so with this at least i've got some regular material i can get these things cleaned up also what i think is cool is you've got different textures in different places so down here um, we've got like this little uh, rubberized dots texture here on the seat pad and then you've got the same texture here on the shoulder bolsters or whatever you want to call it um, so, you know, you got some different materials here on this seat. I think they're uh, pretty nice. Definitely good to look at. Uh, we've got the FIA sticker sitting right there. We have the option for side mounts. Underneath is flat. You've got a hole for your seat belt, but you're not going to be able to mount these seats from the bottom. Around the back side of the seat, you can kind of see the weave of the material. Whatever material these are made out of. I think they said that these things are FRP. I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Doesn't look as cool as carbon fiber, but probably costs one-tenth of what a carbon fiber seat costs. And nobody's looking at the back of these seats anyway, so who cares? But overall, I feel like the quality of these seats, the fit and finish of these things, is um, pretty comparable to something that, that costs way more. And uh, I'm super satisfied with the way that these things look. Um, these seats are going to be going into the Miata Pro-Am car that I'm currently working on. They'll probably be going into the car in a couple of weeks as soon as we have a couple of things knocked out on that build and uh, we can put the seats into it. But that's pretty much going to be my review of the seats and I uh, hope that helps you out. And if you want to purchase these seats, I highly recommend that you go through the company Solo Performance that I bought these from. Once again, not sponsored by RaceQuip, but I would love to be if you guys are watching. Wink, wink. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.